this tutorial, we will talk about how to add a geoid model to Trimble's Coordinate System Manager and to then put it on the data collector. The first thing we need to do is open up Trimble's Coordinate System Manager and you can do this by typing in a search bar, Coordinate System Manager, and it will come up. If you're running Windows XP, it's in Programs, Trimble, uh, Trimble Office, and Utilities right there. Okay, so we're going to first go to the View tab and Options and we need to copy this directory because this directory is where our geoid model is stored and that's where we need to put the new one. So we're going to copy this to the clipboard and we'll just hit Cancel. And we're going to open up a Windows Explorer. Um, what we're going to do is click in the address bar, paste in that address, and now we need to copy over our geoid. I've already downloaded it from the Trimble website. Um, link is in the description. Copy this over and then you just paste it in there. Now I already have a geoid named this so I'm actually not going to copy it but this is how you would do it if you didn't have geoid 12a and uh, you needed to copy it in there. So I'm just going to hit cancel and pretend that it actually copied because it's already in there. So now I'm going to open up the coordinate system manager again um, we're going to go to the Geoid Models tab here at the end, and we're going to right-click and go to Add a New Model. Okay, we're going to give it a name. Call this Geoid 12 Alpha. Okay, and call this. Now you notice that there is one named that already in the list. Again, I'm not going to go through and, and do a duplicate here. I just wanted to walk you through the process. So you give it a name and then you go into the uh, file name drop down and you're going to choose which geoid model so we need to go to geoid 12a us right there okay you'd hit apply and okay and that, that would add a new geoid model again because i already have one in there i'm not going to mess with it um, but that's how you would do it so you would just hit okay so i'm going to hit cancel here but normally you'd hit okay Okay, in our next segment, we're going to show you how to send it to the data collector. In this segment, we will upload the geoid model to the collector and verify that it did successfully. So the first thing we need to do is we've opened up Trimble Business Center. We need to create a new project. So I'm going to go ahead and hit a, create a new project. Now we're going to save this project, give it a name. Call this geoid test. Okay, and then we're going to go up here to the little gear to project settings. And we need to define a coordinate system for this. So we're going to change this. I'm going to use state plane. Um, and uh, so you'd go to cord calibra coordinate system and zone, state plane, choose your zone. And then under geoid model, you need to choose predefined geoid model. We're going to choose 12A, which we uploaded to the coordinate system manager earlier. We're going to give this survey quality, and we'll leave the vertical datum name blank. Go ahead and hit finish, and OK. OK, now we have a coordinate system defined. I'm going to upload this to our user file, and we just click on the uh, place where you want it to be in Trimble Access in the device pane. I've got it partnered. Um, with ActiveSync. So we're going to go ahead and hit ex export. We're going to choose a Trimble Access job file exporter, verify the name, and we're going to put it in US survey feed. Okay, we'll go ahead and export. It exports it and it also should send the geoid file to the collector. Now let's verify that by opening up our collector here. We're going to go to um, to files and in files we're going to go in Trimble data and system files and then we'll scroll down until we find geoid 12a and there it is it's in the collector and so all the dependent files needed for this job including the geoid model do get sent over which makes it a really convenient way to send over a geoid model and now you have a template here in state plane ready to be surveyed and uh, you didn't have to do anything but send it send it over with uh, with with uh, Trimble Access or Trimble Business Center. So that's how you set set, uh, set up a geoid model in uh, 
Trimble Business Center and uh, deploy it to a collector running Trimble Access. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.